Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising, a weekly tarot reading September 23rd to September uh, 29th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, here to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we are to jump right into it. All right. So that's good enough, I guess. And the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, Sagittarius, is going to be the Queen of Cups. Followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you are to face throughout the week. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the uh, positive aspect of the week for you. That is to be the uh, Four of Wands. And then it is uh, the uh, Chariot card, which is the guidance that Tower is offering to you. To be honest, I'm a bit baffled with reading. I'm quite curious to see how the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles are contradicting each other. And this is, we are going to see this through the uh, Catalysts. But before we go into that, let's uh, run the cards one more time. So we do have the Queen of Pen uh, the Queen of Cups here as the topic of your week, followed by the Queen of Pentacles, which represents uh, the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. Then it is the um, Four of Wands, which stands for the uh, for the positive aspect, and the last one it is the Chariot, which represents the guidance that the Tarot is offering to you. All right, so Queen of Cups, uh, that is your topic, and this is a a person around you, accompanied or catalyzed with the full card. So we do have first of all a a passive neutrals, and while Sagittarius this week may prove itself to you to be something quite refreshing, you know, and uh, to be a week where there will be quite a lot of a uh, newness into your life, if you want to say it, a new beginning, this uh, queen here, the Queen of Cups, will urge you not to rush it um, quite very frantically. Uh, just because you do need a new beginning, let's say that way, or some sort of a, a glimpse of a fresh wind, but instead to uh, hold on your horses and make rather a better plan for how you are to deal with what is in front of you, either a new job or a new relationship, let's say, on all right, or a new enterprises in general. That is because um, a carefree behavior, or rather like a, a, detach, a detachment from the reality, I don't know how to explain it really. It's more like reckless behavior here that we do have at hand. And this Queen of Cups is to breed senses within you. While encouraging you, you know, that you do need this fresh start or this new beginning in your um, in your environment, it should not be faced mindlessly, all right? You should, you should not throw yourself into it without having a, a contingency plan, for example, or without uh, thinking about the repercussions that this... Um, 
this endeavor is going to bring to you and taking the precautionary measures in order to tackle with the consequences of those actions, of the actions of the new job, you know, or, or, or the new relationship as well, because the life is going to change after that. I mean, after you embark on this new road that we do have at hand and the, uh, the, the behavior of the Queen of Cups is all provoked because that person does care for you. I mean, the Queen of Cups the person itself does understand your pain, does understand as well what you need, also understands your nature, and as well, it's a, it is a person who um, is capable of maintaining, um, how do you say it, not secrecy, but, um, my, and that word jump out of my mind, um, well, it's basically is capable to uh, to hold on to secrets, all right? Uh, it's like privacy, all right? Maintaining privacy in there. So it doesn't look like that you have uh, nothing to hide from the Queen of Cups, but in the same time, it will be quite useful from your behalf to listen to uh, its, uh, its advice or her advice because it's going to bring a breed... Um, some senses within you, not to rush things through. And uh, the challenges that you are to overcome here, that is to be the Queen of Pentacles, and the catalyst is going to be the Ten of Swords, formation, passive enemies. So that will be uh, another person who, uh, however, uh, is not one, it, it will not want you to go or to take advantage of this new beginning. As a matter of fact, this looks like an ultimatum. You go down that road, while you no longer, this this person will no longer want to have anything to do with you, all right? It's it's like an ultimatum, it's like a uh, definitive uh, decision that uh, the Queen of Pentacles is going to um, uh, is going to adopt. No, no different than if you take that job, we are done as a relationship, you know, or if you do this, you are out of the job and etc. etc. It's kind of like a, a very rough ultimatum, a very rough condition that you need to uh, take under mind. Now, the thing with the, the Queen of Pentacles, it is that uh, this person, uh, it's... Uh, it always strives for perfection in a sense of that no matter how well does she perform or you perform trying to impress her, um, it will never be enough. I mean, there will be always in her mind a potential that needs to be unfolded into the uh, ongoing things, or into the ongoing endeavors. And eventually it's time for you to let go of. I mean, it's time for you to try something different, to try something new, which the Queen of Cups is going to encourage you. But once you once you announce your intentions, it's not going to be taken lightly by the Queen of Pentacles. And you have to be prepared for a certain ultimatum. Should you... Um, should you go for uh, this uh, new beginning? It is the question. Well, the next card divulges here. Yes, it is because the Four of Wands does point. Let me draw one more card here. It is going to be the Catalyst, and that is the Hangman Formation active enemies. So this week it is uh, the uh, end of the cycle. I mean, there is nothing more you can achieve accompanying or collaborating with the Queen of Pentacles person. So it's going to be the person who gives you the ultimate. I mean, not the one who is to support you throughout, the, through all that, throughout all that. So there is nothing more you can achieve there. Uh, and uh, it's simply you have to close that page in your life and uh, like said, embark on the new roads. What this is going to give you? Well, the skies darken is are going to be set into light once again. You are to see the world in a brand different perspective, all right? Also, a lot of situations which you felt stuck beforehand are now going to unblock themselves. They're going to stir once again. Your love life is going to stir. Your, your career is going to stir as well. You know, your communications are going to stir and etc., etc. And uh, this week also, it looks like that you are to undertake a, an important detail 
that re that your well-being requires all right don't don't stress yourself to think about it right now what that detail uh, could be all right because it will become quite obvious when the time comes around but the thing with these two cards guys is that uh, they they are simply pointing as a positive aspect that the time has come for you to face even wi uh, wider uh, world all right even wider a, a cluster of opportunities even wider cluster of a um how do you how do i say it um of enterprises that you can take advantage of and you don't have to to, to stumble on the same place that's the whole thing that's the that's the game of the queen of pentacles i did kind of like this, this woman gives you with the one with one of her of her hands and takes away with the other well it may not be a woman it could be as well a man all right a male that i mean but um once you receive once again an, an ultimatum throughout the week well you know that that person needs to go and uh, the last card which is the um Guidance the Tower is offering to you, Sagittarius, that is going to be the Chariot card accompanied with the Queen of Swords here. A passive neutral seat is what we do have. So uh, there are multiple, what these cards are pointing is that there are multiple ways how you can approach the new, uh, the new road, the new path that it is uncovering in front of you um, in this week, September 23rd to September 29th. Now, now is the time for me to make a note here that the path is uncovering. It is not quite there yet. Yet. but the whole attitude of your behalf to grasp it as soon as it manifests itself is going to be quite telling on its own accord and that is exactly what is going to piss the queen of pentacles around but the thing is that there are there are quite many ways that you can approach it you know and i would say that with these two cards you are you do hold the hammer uh, that can forge your faith and what you are waiting for in just the anvil to arrive, all right? And the anvil are the circumstances of this new direction, this new relationship or this new, uh, this new career. But the thing is, uh, with these two cards, that you can definitely push the things through. There is a hard way and there is a smart way. It does depend on your individual, which way you are going to, uh, from which side, you know, the smart or the hard one, you are going to approach the endeavor. However, from whichever side you are to approach it, you can definitely push it through, guys. You can definitely pull it out. But that week here, it is a uh, um, it revolves around a, a meaningful cooperation with the Queen of Cups, the one that truly cares for you, all right? Uh, systemizing your plan or kind of like, you know, um, calculating your next moves toward this uh, this new beginning and preparing yourself for the immense jump that you are going to make leaping forward it, and even you can call it the leap of fate if you will so that being said sagittarius this was your weekly tarot reading september 23rd to uh september 29th 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then bye